All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, some of you are like, oh, one aluminum, one aluminum. Balance, we done. <laughs> no, I just did a redox reaction. You have to look at the electrons, right? So, all right, aluminum to aluminum three, there's totally ox uh, oxidation reaction, lose it three electrons. You know and iron two will become a uh, regular iron. So, iron two will become iron zero. So, that's reduction, so reduce the, uh, the oxidation number. So, reduction. All right. Now, if you look at um, the electro electrons out from the oxidation reaction, is three electrons. Iron have to pick up three electrons, but iron can pick up only two. What do we do here? Well, that's when we the uh, common multiples come to play. The common multiple of three and two is six, right? So I'm going to times three with two and times two with three, and they get, they're all gonna get six. Okay, so which means that I'm going to need two aluminum and two aluminum three. Okay, and uh, three iron two and then three uh, iron metal. All right, so six electron total. Okay, all right, so oxidation react <clears throat> oxidation reaction. So we got aluminum to aluminum become uh, to aluminum three plus and six electron coming out. Okay. And now reduction reaction. So I have iron two plus three of them. Okay. And uh, take six electrons in and we get three moles of iron metal coming out. All right. All right. So that's oxidation. That's reduction. Now um, the redox reaction. Uh, when you combine this, it's just like equation, whatever on the left or on the right, you can cancel them out if they're the same, exact, uh, have the same value. Six electron on the left, six electron on the right, you can cancel them out and then combine these two reactions, you can redox reaction. So with two aluminum, three iron two, and we'll get two aluminum three plus and three metal iron. That's it. All right, All right. one more time, one more time. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, in the case of uh, spectator ion, just ignore them. So I'm going to, I'm going to re uh, rewrite um, a net ionic equation. Okay. So we have a molecular equation, but well, spectator ions, it doesn't do anything. Just cancel them out. Um, you get a net ionic equation just like that. You know. All right. Let's check the electrons real quick. So calcium on the left side is zero. Become calcium two. So increase in oxidation number. Oxidation reaction. So two electrons. Chromium three plus become chrom. No, chromium, that's calcium. No, I was like, got confused a little. <laughs> chromium three plus become uh, chromium metal, so three plus to zero. So uh, decrease in oxidation number, that's reduction reaction, so three electrons. Okay, so two ele electrons out, three electrons in, not equal, see that? So I'm going to times three on the two and times two on the three. So you get six electron out and then six electron in. When times three for the oxidation reaction, so I'm going to need three calcium and get uh, I'll get three calcium ion. Um, times two for the reduction reaction, so we, I'm going to need two chromium three, and then I get two chromium. There we go. All right, now come down here, so I get uh, oxidation reaction, so I get three calcium, and become three calcium two plus, and six electron is released. Okay. All right, next one, reduction reaction. So two chromium three um, takes in six electrons and we get chromium metal. All right, lastly, I right, make, uh, let's make a redox reaction. So six electron on the left, six electron on the right, cancel them out. Now combine the whole thing. So we have three calcium metal plus two chromium three and we're going to get three calcium two and then two chromium metal. There we go. All right. Uh, on the exam, you might have something like this. So I don't give you the equation. You have to write it out and balance it on your own. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so well, do on your own and then check with me. Okay. So I just want you to practice basically. If you read the whole thing, you should get that equation. All right. All right. So uh, nitrate is spectator ion. So I'm going to skip it. Here we go. Now, right, so just net ionic equation. Here we go. So I got zinc and the proton on the left side. And on the right, I have zinc ion and uh, hydrogen gas on the right. Okay, so totally you can see oxidation reaction. So zinc zero becomes zinc two plus. That's the oxidation reaction with two e electrons coming out. And uh, proton takes one electron, uh, one electron and become hydrogen gas uh, re reduction, just one electron. Okay, so not equal for sure. So we're going to need two protons. 
Now two protons, so times two right there. When you times two right here, so I'm going to add two in front of the proton. What do we do with the hydrogen? It's already balanced. Don't, don't add two in front of hydrogen. Otherwise, you're going to have four. Okay. In this case, hydrogen, well, hydrogen exists as a diatomic molecule. That's why we don't need two right here. Okay. So H2. All right. Start with the oxidation half. Uh, zinc uh, becomes zinc ion. And then two ele electrons coming out. Uh, proton. So two proton total. Each one of them take one electron. So two take, two of them take two electrons and become a hydrogen gas. All right, redox reaction. So two electrons cancel out. We got zinc and uh, two protons, and we got zinc two plus on the right and two, uh, so one hydrogen gas. Okay. All right, practice makes perfect. So class activity number three. All right, and the key is right here. 